Eastman Chemical. They make about $9 billion every year. They're the original creator of MCHM, which means they're required to create a safety data sheet that tells you all these symptoms and effects. It's the only information that's available to the public and to emergency responders. The people in my world, that's what we rely on. We go out on a truck wreck or something and there's a tank leaking, we kind of look at the data sheet. That's all we have. But if you look at the data sheet for MCHM, nearly every field reads no data available, including most important symptoms and effects. However, there was one useful piece of information. The average amount of MCHM it takes to kill a rat. Anytime you talk about what levels are safe for people to expose to, that's a big deal. But how the CDC determined what amount was acceptable is kind of shocking. Without knowing if MCHM causes cancer or reproductive harm, the CDC decided what amount was safe from this piece of information, how much Eastman Chemical says it takes to kill a rat. This would explain why the CDC told pregnant women not to drink the water. It seemed that they didn't know what the effects might be.